students so welcome back to smart biology so today i am going to talk about how you can improve your essay mark so you all obviously you know essay is one of the most important sections in biology if you are going to get a good a pass so you should be actually a pro at essays in order to get a very good a pass so therefore let's discuss these tips so this video can be a little bit long but i assure that it will be worth so therefore the first one is stop cramming the resource book if you are cramming the resource book right now okay so why do i say this because most of the teachers actually are afraid to mention this in their classes or in the even in the school because it is a risky approach it is risky because students uh, teachers don't want to miss any of the points in the resource book because then it can backfire on them but personally when i was doing my levels as well so teachers actually asked us to study whatever they are in the resource book but Actually, this is a bio. This is bio. This is science. So this is a scientific subject. You should not cram the things at all. And also, by my personal experience in the ALS as well as in the medical faculty, because medical faculty is you have so much of things to study. Okay, so therefore, if you are just going to cram whatever they are, it will be really, really hard because you have ten lessons. Okay, ten lessons, which is huge. And not only those ten, you have another two subjects, which is chemistry as well as physics. So if you are going to study all the things, cram all the points, then you are going, to, you are going to fall into a very big, big trouble, and you are going to have a very big stress when the exam is nearby. So you are going to forget whatever you are remembering as well. So therefore, if you have a habit of cramming whatever you do, whatever in the resource book, please stop that. It is not effective at all. Okay. If if you can study all the things, obviously you are going to get the A pass. But the thing is, it is not practical as a student. Okay, as a normal student, I mean, uh, if you are a very good obsessional student, if you have very good amazing memory, yeah, obviously you might be able to. But I was not able to, and my friends were not able to, and most of the students that I know were also not able to do that. So therefore, I am giving you a practical way or an effective way that you can. Study these essays and improve the markets. So therefore, the first one, if you are studying, uh, if you are actually studying or cramming whatever they are in the research books, stop it. And the second one, that is the most important thing I would say: understand the concept, understand the logics, and understand the understand the flow behind any lesson. For example, if it is water potential, you should understand the concept behind water potential. If you just study water potential equals solute potential plus pressure potential, that is not bio. So you have to understand the concept behind that. If you haven't watched my video regarding water potential, you can watch that as well. So then, uh, what is the logic behind this? Then, uh, for example, there is a point in the photosynthesis. In order to synthesize one NG3P, the cycle should take place three times. So you understand why why that sentence is mentioned there. What is the logic behind it? what is the logic behind that likewise then uh, if i mention about flow in the life cycle you have proper flow where there's a logical flow so when you understand that flow it's really easy to remember you don't have to like cram all the things in the resource book got the idea so that is the next thing first thing you should get away with your cramming habit then understand the concepts logics and the flow then the third one is once you understand the concepts represent those concepts logics or the flow in a diagrammatic representation for example for photosynthesis you can use the diagram represent the light dependent reaction of the calvin cycle and also for respiration you can use a flow chart which represents the respiratory regulation or sometimes you can take you can use tables for example a comparison table be between gutation and uh, Gutation and um, transpiration comparison table between oogenesis and uh, spermatogenesis. Likewise, build charts. Okay, have charts to describe to describe whatever you have learned, and that should be in a if it is possible in a diagrammatic flow, a diagrammatic representation, or maybe a flow chart, or maybe a table. Okay, so whatever you want. So then, what are what are you going to do? Is you are going to memorize that diagram, or you are going to memorize that flow chart. Instead of whatever they are in the resource book, because it is so easy. Imagine you have the flow, you have a diagram in your mind about photosynthesis. So whatever you have to do when you explain the essay as well, you have to just go through that. You go through that flow. So initially you have photosystem one here, photosystem two here. I still can remember the diagram that I drew when I was doing ALS. Then here you have a light harvesting complex, then you have a reaction center complex. In the reaction center complex, you have a chlorophyll A molecule, then you have a you have whatever you call primary electron acceptor so likewise 
you should be able to close your eyes like I did and then revise whatever in the deck. Understood? So then as soon as you understand, you can say build a diagram or a chart which represent the lesson. Okay, then whatever you are going to do is you are just going to close your eyes and try to remind whatever in those diagrams, the points in the diagram. That's it. Got the idea? That is so, so easy. If you haven't followed, please try to follow it and it would be really, really easy. Then, then comes one of the most important section. As soon as you build a chart, now you have a very good flow in your mind. Okay. So then you have to build a marking scheme. That marking scheme should be in your own flow. It should never be the flow in the resource book. It should never be the flow in another marking scheme. And it should never be the flow of your, of your friends. The reason is your flow and the my flow can be different. The whatever the flow which is most suited for me is not the most suited one for you. So therefore you have to build your own marking scheme, rearranging the points in the resource book, rearranging the points in another marking scheme into a better suited flow of you. For example, I'll take an example. Uh, in 2022, 22, there was a question regarding the secondary growth. Uh, if you go through that marking scheme, that marking scheme is really, really messy. Initially, you have vascular cambium, then you have coke cambium. They have explained two sentences regarding vascular cambium and coke cambium. Again, they have explained about vascular cambium. Again, they have explained about coke cambium. But instead, they could have easily done. Okay, what, do, what could they have easily done? They can write about vascular cambium and explain all the things related to vascular cambium. Then and there. They can write about coke cambium and explain all the things related to coke cambium. Then and there understood so then if you have a flow like that that's the flow that i personally prefer so if you have a flow like that i would never miss a point because as soon as i i remind about vascular cambium i remind all all the points as soon as i write about coke cambium i write all the points so then i don't miss the points what's the idea so it's about understanding yourself and rewriting the points in the resource book and the marking scheme in your own flow okay then when you are writing a flow like that you must be careful to write the most forgettable points at the top of the margin scheme at the top of the margin scheme for example under secondary growth the the under secondary growth the point that i miss most is primary growth occurs simultaneously with the secondary growth i forget that every day so what i used to do is as soon as I start writing the secondary growth, uh, second point or third point would be primary growth uh, occurs simultaneously with the secondary growth. Then I know I would never miss that. Okay, I, I'm sure other points I'm good at, but this is the point that I'm not good at. I'm going to write that uh, that point at the beginning of my essay, so I'm not going to miss any point. Got the idea? Then the other thing is, you should have only one margin scheme for one particular essay. For example, secondary growth, you shouldn't have five margin schemes okay you shouldn't have five or ten margin scheme you should have only one margin scheme but if you go through the questions from 2000 to 2023 you will have about four uh, four questions regarding secondary growth and the margin schemes would be different to each other that's how it is because margin scheme in a, in a year is prepared depending on the answers written by the students in that year okay so you are not a student if you are writing a, a level in 2024 you are not a student who wrote levels in 2020 okay so they and you are different so therefore so you shouldn't follow another marking scheme exactly how it is so therefore you should have what you call an ideal marking scheme or the perfect marking scheme so therefore for example in 2022 marking scheme there are only 35 30 uh, 37 points in the secondary growth but actually for secondary growth you have about seven, uh, 65 points i actually discussed this essay in 2025 a level class as well so then also i mentioned these same things the reason is you can't predict the professor's mind no? so they have 65 60 points 65 points to include in a marking scheme but they include only 37 so it's totally fine okay because they can only only mention the 37 uh, points that 37 or 38 points because then only they can give, give 150 marks if you if they give 65 points there is no way that they can prepare a marking scheme but when you are writing, you have to include all those 65 points in the marking scheme and you should have that ideal one marking scheme. Then you will come across in term tests, maybe in model papers, maybe in provincial papers, 
other questions related to secondary growth. Then you will have other marking schemes as well. And if you lack any point in your ideal marking scheme, which are present in those marking schemes, please add those points into your ideal marking scheme. Be because before going to your exam, you just go through only one marking scheme. You don't go through several marking schemes for one, one essay. For one essay, you have only one marking scheme. So therefore, have an ideal marking scheme at the beginning. Then the, depending on the inputs you get from your school teachers, maybe from your past papers, as well as maybe you're from model papers, modify your marking scheme along the way through your A-levels. Good idea. Then, then even if you have a very perfect marking scheme, you are not going to get marks for your A-levels because now you have to practice writing that marking scheme again and again. When you are writing as well, there is a method that you have to follow. Never write all the points in one paragraph. Always write the points in short paragraphs. Always write the points in short paragraphs. So examiner feels happy about you because imagine now the examiner examines so many papers. At the end, after about 4 p.m., uh, your your paper is going to get marked, and the examiner is also feels so stressed. And he sees a very big paragraph or he feels like, oh my God, I have to write this. I have to read this big paragraph. But instead, if you have very small, small, small paragraphs, then it is easy on the eye. So examiner feels good about yourself. So it gives an additional advantage for you. And also, if you have a good handwriting, to be honest, you have a better impression. But personally, I did never, I, even now I did never have and I will never have a good uh, hand, handwriting, but that is a plus point as well, to be honest, I have to say. Then uh, then the next one is, yeah. as I mentioned, you have to practice writing it with timing. So that means you have to complete the essay with 30 minutes and you just don't have to write 37 points. You have to write 65, only 65 points within that 30 minutes so that you are sure, okay, I wrote all the 65 points, whatever the marking scheme is going to come, I'm not afraid because I'm sure I'm going to get at least 140 marks out of 150 marks. Got the idea? So you have to practice it at least three times before the exam. So the fourth time when you're writing, it is so, so easy. Then the next thing is why you should do this is because before the exam, imagine now the exam is tomorrow. Today you are looking at a marking scheme. You don't have time to study the marking scheme. You just read the marking scheme. But if you have written the same marking schemes over three to four times before the exam, you just have to read the marking scheme. Just reading is enough. You can memorize all the points. So we are doing all the things to get the practice for the exam. So therefore, once you have an ideal marking scheme, please write it at least three times prior to the exam. Then always never forget, whenever you make a marking scheme, please include a diagram if there is a diagram, okay? Please include a diagram and it should be a label diagram and that label diagram it should be a diagram in the resource book and also if there is an essay where there is a label diagram in the resource book you must 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 draw it because diagram always carries marks okay so you should never forget to include the diagram in your resource book uh, in your resource book in your ideal marking scheme okay students so just to summarize first you should never ever cram whatever they are in the resource book then you should build up your own flow, a concept, logic behind the lesson. Then include a diagram. Then make a marking scheme by yourself, having your own flow and include the most difficult points for you at the top of your marking scheme. And then uh, include a diagram as well and then practice it at least three times prior to the exam. And I would like to mention one more thing. How do we actually determine this point is one of the most forgettable point for you and this point is one of the most difficult uh, to memorize point for you that you only understand by practice. That's why you have to write this. Is. For example, when I was doing my ALS, as I mentioned, the for primary growth occurs simultaneously with the secondary growth. When I was writing two to three essays, I understood, okay, this is a point that I'm going to miss all this. So therefore, I adjusted my idea marking scheme in such a way that points comes to the top of my marking scheme. Okay, understood. So then you, when you have an ideal marking scheme, when you are practicing it, you know, okay, these are the mistakes that I'm going to make. So I'm going to arrange, rearrange some of points in such a way uh, that I can remember most of the points. 
understood and students never be worried that you can remember you can't remember some minor points because 150 out of 150 uh, essays sometimes you can't get personally i'm sure that i had a one or two uh, one or two essays 150 out of 150 but for all essays you are not going to get 150 out of 150 so even if you can't remember a minor minor point don't be harsh on you but once you understand okay i can't remember this so you include those points at the top of your marking scheme so then there is a less chance that you can forget those points i hope these methods these tricks are really important for you to get a very good a mark for your bio and if you feel like these tips are useful please comment in the comment section so that i know these are useful if you feel like okay this is not useful so what if it like this what if like this so if you feel like that please comment that also and if you are already a student who follows these techniques and if you are having a success with that please mention that as well in the comment section so that i can get a feedback and i can improve my feedback for you as well